Hey guys, welcome back to ADZ TV. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And in today's video, let us talk about a possible signing that I believe Mumbai City should make next summer, which is of course the next season. Because let's agree, at this current situation, I don't see Mumbai City signing anyone at the moment. And that is Marcelinho, who is currently on loan at North East United. Now see, I after watching the match against North East United, which I made a reaction video, and if you all didn't watch, please do watch it. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Marcelino and I want to tell why Mumbai City should sign him next season. So uh, let us get into that. But if you are new to the channel and you love football content, you like football content, you watch our previous videos, our earlier videos and if you like it, please hit the subscribe button guys. What's our current subscribers? We have currently a, a family of 12,854 subscribers. Let's try and make it 13,000 by the end of the month. So please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Now let's talk Marcelinho. First, Toda small details. All of this is from Transfer Market. Uh, this link in the description below uh, if you want the source. So Marcelinho is 34 years of age, uh, 1.73 uh, meters tall, and is Brazilian. Now his main position is left winger, but I'll get into that later on. So even though he's 34 years old, and I saw him uh, for the Northeast match, he's very energetic and brings a lot of you know attack into for the team. I think uh, in that match uh, for Northeast United, he was the main attack threat for northeast he's actually on loan from northeast from rajasthan united and his contract will end in 2022 okay so he's not a permanent signing for uh northeast united he's valued at about 1.25 covers according to transfer market now i now we'll talk about his uh positioning okay uh, so he is as you can see here his main position is a left winger which currently that spot is filled by Bipin but he can also play as a left mid and attacking mid and I believe he is a very good attacking midfielder for Mumbai City why because this season we had Casio Gabriel last season we had Hugo Bomas so you see attacking midfielder position is very important for Mumbai City and uh, by seeing the energy, by seeing his passing, by seeing his crosses, I believe that he's a very good attacking midfielder fit for Mumbai City. Considering that his contract ends, uh, uh, what is it, expires with North East United by the end of this season, we can again get him on loan from... Uh, from uh, Rajasthan United again or we can sign him permanently on a free deal or we have to pay a transfer fee so uh, I believe Mumbai City should consider the fact of uh, signing him because first of all he's very energetic in his uh, position uh, in while playing okay very uh, fast player which is very, one of the beautiful things that I love to watch uh, for uh, players when they play I like fast players I like players who can give, give good passes and crosses and one more thing he does that uh, Casio Gabriel uh, I don't think he doesn't do that Casio Gabriel does is shoot from outside the box which irritates me a lot and I believe that uh, he is a very good team player he's I can see a small part of Kevin De Bruyne inside him because he's a very good player in that uh, style now let us talk about his transfer history uh, the previous clubs he has played for only the indian part okay because he has played for quite a number of clubs uh, so he has played for delhi dynamos as you can see then he played for pune city uh, then of course pune city from pune city to hyderabad hyderabad to odisha odisha to etk mohun bagan then back to odisha and uh, then he had a few uh, a short time in uh, Brazil back again and in uh, Greece but then he returned to Rajasthan United on a free transfer and now he currently plays for Northeast so uh, according to me uh, I believe that uh, this could be a very good deal uh, since he has like how many years I think uh, about uh, four uh, five seasons i think so uh, in isl i believe i think five seasons what he has played in isl so i think he will be very good uh, in, uh has already the experience and mumbai city need an experience player Cassio gabriel is a great player but he uh, but he is you know he has in his entire career i think he has changed his club 16 about 16 times okay uh, more than one time each season so i believe that uh, even though 
he's a quality player we need experienced players see the reason why hugo bomas is so good uh, for isl is because he knows how isl works okay he has played so many seasons mutata fall ahme jahu there are very few players who are like play come for one season and are able to destroy the league you know very few are there I'm not saying that there are none but there are few but the more you love learn to play in the league the more better your performance becomes and that is what i would like to say if he performs like this amazingly uh, i believe that maybe one season uh, he will you uh, be a top player you know oh casio gabriel for but he, we know he is going to go back to brazil again so uh, now let's me go into another stat is performance by competition and please and i want you all to concentrate on these two things indian super league and isl playoffs so he has played about 75 matches uh, in the indian super league with 32 goals and 17 assists which is by far a very good uh, stat for a player like him okay and uh, also include the isl playoffs isl playoffs if you all don't know is the semi finals and the finals uh, inclusive uh, so he has played six times there and has uh, one goal registered so in total he has like played 81 matches with 32 three goals and 17 assists in isl all alone now of course he has played in other leagues but uh, we are not interested in that at the moment so a very quality player according to me about 81 matches of experience in isl is a huge thing okay it's quite a lot because you know there are very few players who have crossed the 100 uh, appearances and 81 appearances is a very good thing with 33 goals uh, as a winger or attacking midfielder is also a very uh, good stat according to me and 17 assist also is the you know chevy top because i believe if he plays in the attacking midfield position he will definitely be scoring even more goals now uh, and giving more assist and that is what mumbai city actually need okay as a mumbai city fan uh, i have been seeing mumbai city play we need a player who can you know control the midfield jahu does that in that uh, in what is that mumbai city half but when you go in the attacking third okay in the attacking uh, part of the opponents okay in the box you need someone who can give the good passes not saying castillo gabriel is a bad player he has two man of the matches of course he, but uh, he ha- he has his those times you know when uh, he doesn't perform well also marcelino i think so has the most uh, free kick goals in isl history i think that is 5 so uh, we get another dangerous uh, uh, you know player who can uh, shoot directly in the goal like uh, normally uh, free kicks of the main each thing is jahu does is a uh, pass it to mutada fall and let mutada fall score but i believe we need to uh, you know try and change it sometimes maybe shoot directly in the goal uh, because that is also one thing that we should do because otherwise all the players will start marking mutada fall and you know it won't it won't go well okay we need to change the tactics that i have been saying for a long time this season changing tactics is very important uh, for mumbai city and if we don't do that i doubt uh, we will uh, you know improve our football uh, hope- uh, hopefully that happens so guys tell me your thoughts about this transfer i believe mumbai city should go for this deal and maybe sign him okay if you are getting him for a loan deal get him on a loan deal if you are getting him on a permanent transfer please get him on a permanent transfer even though you have to pay us some amount i think he's a quality player tell me your thoughts guys in the comments down below thank you once again for watching please hit the subscribe button guys now let us try and hit 13000 subscribers by the end of this month thank you once again for watching this video do like share subscribe see you all in more videos coming soon in the near future goodbye guys take care and stay safe